t-shirt. So today I wanted to do some sort of eye look. Um, I was looking through all my palettes and I thought I haven't used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture well, Traveler palette for a very long time. These are the shades and of course the summer is coming and you know this time of year I like to use more of a warmer looks. Um, so I thought there is a few nice warm colours in here. I do something with that. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wing it. So I think first I'm going to take a soft pit soft peach which is a soft peach color and it is um matte and i will use this it's a bit light but we'll see i will use this in my well as my transition color yeah it's okay Okay, I think I need to do this every time I do a tutorial because every time I get this question, even though I told you all before um, what mirror I'm using, it's just mirror like this that I have bought um, in a local store. It's a bathroom mirror. It's not, um, it's just one-sided and it's not magnifying. So I can't give you the link to it because it was in one of the stores. Fluff. Maybe I could zoom in for you for this. Yeah, that's a quite nice transition colour. So I go quite high up with it. And I used for this MAC 217. Now I'm going to use my Blank Canvas Cosmetics E42 and I will go into Morocco. I know I love this colour. I would say it is a bit similar to Makeup Geek Coco Bear, but this one is a bit more orangey, I would say. And I'm going to go with this right in my crease, just under my um, socket bone. And that's why I love this brush, because I can just stick it there and with one motion, deepen up my crease. I'm not going with it right into the corner, just sort of three quarters in. And take the Mac to 17 and just with nothing on, blend it upwards a bit. The skin on this eye is really, really saggy now. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to go into pink champagne and everybody raves about this colour. I am not that, I don't feel like it has very good coverage. So we'll see. Take some sort of flat synthetic brush. This is Lancome go into that and I will uh, you have to you know press it is nice and shimmery but I feel like it's a bit patchy pat and press with these sort of shadows you can't be going like this because you're just going to lose all the pigmentation and it's going to go all over the place. Bring it up here in the inner corner. 
yeah i really don't think much of this eyeshadow much prefer makeup geek foiled eyeshadows for this purpose now i really want to use the intense gaze which is pinky terracotta that's how i would describe it and for this i will use probably my real techniques shading brush this color is beautiful and i think i will just shade the outer portion of my eye it is a beautiful color I wish now that I put that colour all over my lid. Take the 217 and blend it all out. And now I'm going to take Mark 219 and go into Morocco. Just apply it on my lower lash line. I've got quite a lot of fallout. Well, not a lot, a bit of fallout. Okay, and that's it. And now I will do, I'm going to take. Uh, Maybelline Master Drama Coal Liner and go in my inner rim. I don't think I'm going to to do the top layer. <clears throat> I'm going to use the uh, Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer. And entire tightest mascara. And that's the eyes done I quite like it actually it's nice and peachy with that pop of champagne and now what before I do my lips what I'm going to use this is what I'm using now every day as a last step to my makeup is the color science um, SPF 50 broad spectrum mineral powder this is non-chemical sunscreen and mine is in medium So I've done my base before, I didn't want it to be too long. I've used my Shiseido Synchro Skin Foundation in 03. Um, if you want to see how I apply all that, I've done a review of this foundation so you can see how I apply it and it's somewhere here. <laughs> I will link it. But this is like a last step because that gives me sun protection and also you can reapply it throughout the day it's got actually really pretty finish so it doesn't affect your makeup as such you know i think that's the most important thing i will go down my neck as well especially on the sides i get caught by the sun here i've actually got some discoloration from the sun here
if you don't use makeup or foundation then you would just go with this after your skincare as long as this is your last step you know um that's that's what's important and now let's do the lips i think today i'm going to use estee lauder the estee edit um lip liner in in number zero five in the buff i really like it it goes with so many lipsticks and then mark jacobs lipstick in a slow burn is the le mark I really like this lipstick. I've got a mini one. Remember that was from uh, the Sephora lip collection. I love this color. And that's the finished look. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.